Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Dalton's Atomic Theory. This will be the second quarter topic, week 1 and day 2. And this lesson is under the Matatag Creation. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to observe the occurrence of the conservation of mass in a chemical reaction The second one is to use visual representations in understanding the behavior of atoms And the third one is to appreciate the relationship between the law of conservation of mass to the postulates of Dalton's atomic theory by answering Answering the guide questions. For the explicitation, the students will accomplish activity number two, which is all about the law of conservation of mass. For the objectives, at the end of the activity, the students are expected to observe the occurrence of conservation of mass in a chemical reaction. The second one is to describe observations that suggest a chemical change has occurred. The third one is to use visual representation in understanding the behavior of atoms. And the fourth one is to relate the law of conservation of mass to the postulates of Dalton's atomic theory. For the materials needed, 100 ml of graduated cylinder or measuring cap, 250 ml of Erlenmeyer flask or plastic bottle, analytical balance or weighing scale, balloon, and clean piece of paper and watch glass. Another materials needed are the spatula, masking tape, vinegar, baking soda, pen and paper, and calculator. For the law of conservation of mass, the first one is to measure 20 ml of vinegar using a graduated cylinder. The second one is to put the vinegar in a 250 ml or linear flask. And the third one is to measure 3 gram of baking soda using a clean piece of paper or watch glass. The fourth one is to place the baking soda inside the balloon and the fifth one is to connect the mouth of the balloon to the mouth of the Erlenmeyer flask and tape it to make sure no gas could escape. Be careful not to spill the baking soda in the Erlenmeyer flask. The sixth one is to measure the mass of the setup and record. The seventh one is to flip the balloon to mix the baking soda and vinegar and then you observe. And once the mixture settles, measure the mass of the whole setup again. Then after you record, compare the mass of the setup before and after mixing and answer the guide questions that guide question what kind of change has occurred and the second guide question what evidences can support your answer in number one and for the third guide question is there a change in the mass after the process if yes what might happen to cause such a difference and for the last guide question, the representation below shows the atoms involved in the process. How can you relate this to postulate 5 of Dalton's atomic theory?